what are dreams why do they happen why are some dreams so weird while well, some of them make so much sense and what is going on with our mind while we're sleeping are we actually visiting other dimensions that could exist in real life but we're just visiting there in a sleep state these are the kind of questions that are constantly running through my mind. <laughs> so I just wanted to make this video to kind of share my experiences with dreams, how I've got myself to start remembering my dreams more, and how I started lucid dreaming. I would definitely say the number one thing to do if you're trying to create more vivid dreams and to remember your dreams more often is to keep a dream journal. Um, I have this one. It's a Slytherin one. But you don't even need an actual journal, you can use just your phone, your notes app, it's super easy. Um, studies show within, after the first five minutes you wake up, you already forget 50% of your dream. So it's super important to do it the second you open your eyes to start jotting down everything you can remember. And I swear, you're just going to start, once you get in that habit, you're going to start having longer dreams, more vivid dreams, and every night. It really does work. And this is great because you'll notice that your dreams start turning into literal movies, which is really helpful because you can break down each detail that happens in the dream and you can research what each situation means, especially and then relate it to your life and see maybe what kind of messages are coming through. I like to keep my journal next to my bed, um, but honestly, I try to alternate between the two not on purpose, but sometimes I'm just too tired to grab the journal, look for a pen, and start writing down. Sometimes it's just so much easier to just grab your phone and just start writing everything in the notes app. For example, one of my recent dreams was, I wrote it in my notes app, and it said, I had a dream that I went into a spaceship and we landed in the ocean. I was in my neighborhood in Braintree, which is where I grew up but the ocean went right up to the front steps of people's houses. I had to swim, got to my house, and it seemed like there were all of the same people there, just an alternate reality. People seemed to age slower, voices were deeper. My dog, Bristol, was alive, and in the house was my aunt and my cousin, and I didn't get to meet the alternate version of myself because she, I, the alternate version of myself that existed there, had apparently moved to another city to fulfill her dreams. And like, I feel like that probably has a deeper meaning to it. I've had similar dreams to that, being in alternate realities in my old neighborhood, but it also could be proof that we are visiting other dimensions when we go to sleep. And that exists, because think about it, there's probably so many dimensions, anything that is possible probably exists in another dimension, in another timeline, in another universe and maybe we are just visiting there in our minds when we sleep something to think about after staying in that habit of recording my dreams every time i wake up and i remember them i have definitely noticed that i've been able to lucid dream more often and that is when you're able to recognize the fact that you're dreaming while in that state and you're able to control it which has been really interesting and it doesn't happen every time I go to sleep but maybe like once a week honestly and sometimes more often and it's definitely super interesting and honestly the coolest part about that is that I've been able to request almost people who have passed or anyone that is passed I have like kind of asked for them to be in the dream and they've been there and honestly I do this with my my two dogs that passed like maybe once a week they're in my dreams just because I request I ask them to come visit me in a dream in the dream and then they're there and it's so vivid I feel like I'm actually with them so things like that is I love that part about it I personally believe that all dreams are shown to us for a reason and they all have some kind of meaning um, a lot of things are kind of hidden away in our subconscious and they pop up when we're dreaming feelings that you tend to have that you don't even realize you feel that way come up from the surface in your dreams and it gives you something to think about in your day-to-day -day life. I've definitely had some dreams where I've realized things in my life that make me unhappy or that may be bothering me 
and I was able to just really think about it and make changes in my day-to-day -day life when I'm awake to stop feeling that way. Um, other dreams are just so random and funny. There probably is a deeper meaning to it, but sometimes you wake up and you're just like, what? Like, what does that mean? It's really, it's like, sometimes it's hard to find the deeper meaning, but I really do think that they all mean something. So for example, I had a dream that I was a bridesmaid in Cardi B's wedding and we all had to perform the WAP dance. And I think that maybe somewhere in my subconscious, I just really wanted to experience that. And the universe was like, you will experience that, but in a sleep state because nobody should have to see that in real life, in this reality. So it's something to be thankful for. <laughs> so I definitely have a lot of crazy dreams that seem to make no sense, but then I have a lot that seem to have a lot of meaning. Like for example, if you've seen the OA, when she has her NDEs, like whenever she dies, she goes to this like dark room, like it's like a galaxy and there's like this being there. Well, I've had multiple dreams where I was in that like an area like that and there was a being there like not the same one I couldn't really tell but I feel like there is a way I, f I just felt like I was in an actual alternate reality but yeah nothing ever happened with it I always think maybe that was like about where I'm about to be able to astral project but unfortunately I haven't been able to reach that point of my dream work yet hopefully in the future but that's what I think it was or something. I really think it was some kind of alternate reality and it happened on more than one occasion. And that was just, and I was able to get there just by recording my dreams all the time. I was able to go into those deeper states of dreaming. So I think it definitely changes everything. Also, if you have astral projected, please share your experiences in the comments because I love hearing stories about it. I just hope that I get to experience it one day. I'm gonna keep trying. And it might seem a lot like like tedious to write down everything every morning, but it's normal to not do it every morning. Like I would be lying if I say that I actually do it every morning. There is periods of time where I do and that's when I experience the dreams that I'm talking about. But there's definitely like some weeks where I'm just like not not doing it. And then I do notice a significant change. Like I don't remember my dreams as much. I barely like have them, even though we have them every night, but you know, when you don't remember it. So there's really nothing to record. It's just when you finally do have a dream that you feel like you want to record, write it down and then just stay in that habit. But the good thing is you can always jump right back into it and it goes back to having dreams every night. So it's not like something that you have to feel bad about if you fall off. It's very normal. I don't, I think everyone would be lying if they said that they actually did it every single morning, their morning routine. Like every morning routine on TikTok where they're doing like an hour's worth of self-care before work. I don't believe it. Another thing that has helped me to have really vivid dreams besides recording them and writing them down every day is mugwort like i have a mugwort bundle like a sage uh, bundle kind of but mugwort and it has like psychoactive properties i guess but just burning that in my room i feel like before i go to bed i can definitely see the effects of it like it kind of is like when you take like nyquil before bed and you have like these acid dreams like that's literally what it does for me personally so that's like kind of an all-natural way to boost your dream experience, I would say. And if you're into crystals like I am, my top two favorites to assist with dream work would be Lapis Lazuli and Amethyst, of course. There's a million others, but I just feel like for me, those are my two favorite. Sorry, my camera died, so it cut off. And also, I feel like I was too far away before, so I'm going to try to make it more zoomed in because I feel like that's better. I don't know. <laughs> but what I was saying is there, I think what also helps um, to get into that deeper dream state would be to not use so much technology right before bed. Like don't be on your phone watching YouTube, TikTok, 
all that right before you go to sleep or don't be playing video games like up until the moment that you fall asleep you should definitely try to separate put some space in that window between using technology and then going to sleep um instead you could focus on some intentions that you want for your dream or what kind of messages you are trying to get out of your dreams set that intention before bed and you're going to see better results for example if i'm looking for clarity on something i'll set the intention and i'll ask the universe to provide me clarity on this subject in my dream and sometimes you notice that it actually whatever you dream of actually does relate to what you asked for and it's pretty interesting but it does happen a lot and then just always make sure that you're getting enough sleep. I know for me, I need like seven to eight hours to really feel well rested. And I know everyone's different. So you just do what's best for your body. If you're looking to expand your experiences with dream work, I hope this video is able to help you and give you some ideas on how to create more vivid dreams and to find more meaning out of them um, if you've had any cool weird interesting meaningful amazing dreams please put them in the comments and let me know what your experiences were i love hearing about people's dreams even if they make zero sense those are the best ones honestly <laughs> but if you've made it to the end of the video thank you so much for watching i love you all peace out